Hey everyone, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to show you our ninth grade curriculum choices for the 2020-2021 school year. So my daughter will actually be taking a class that covers history, worldview, and literature. It's a class local to us, though the teacher is going to be offering it online at the same time it is in person. That way parents can choose whether their child goes online or in person and they can switch back and forth. So depending on what's going on with the whole coronavirus thing, we can make those decisions. She does have a couple friends who are doing the class too, so that's good. And she's looking forward to meeting some new friends. My oldest daughter, who is now an adult, actually took this class uh, well, not this one, because this is the high school one. She took her junior high level one when she was at a Christian school. They actually sent the kids, it was a very small school, to this class once a week, and then they had a proctor the rest of the week uh, monitor their work. So I'm familiar with this teacher and with kind of like the setup of the class, and my daughter is really looking forward to it, though it is going to be challenging. I know it is. Um, she lets ninth grade either go in junior high or high school and so we did decide for my daughter to do the high school because i just knew she would want to be with her high school friends and and even though the work is more challenging she does tend to say it's for 10th to 12th grade um, and then she has a seventh through ninth grade but she does let ninth graders go either way um, so we did choose the high school um, and so it is all based on american history. So I'm going to flip this camera around and show you what we've got plus the other things she'll be doing as well. Okay, so these are the books they're going to be using for worldview and then we've got literature and history and I'll kind of go through them but they're all kind of intertwined. Um, we've got this Socrates meets Jesus, history's greatest questioner confronts the claims of Christ. We've also got make the impossible possible. One Man's Crusade to Inspire Others to Dream Bigger and Achieve the Extraordinary. We've got Character Counts, Leadership Qualities in Washington, Wilberforce, Lincoln, and Schultz. Zinsen. <laughs> How do you say that? We've got Between Heaven and Hell. This book looks very interesting. A Dialogue Somewhere Beyond Death with John F. Kennedy, C.S. Lewis, and Aldous Huxley. And the last one that's, you know, worldview is The Great Divorce by C.S. Lewis. Then we kind of move into the literature. So the first thing we have is this American Literature for Christian Schools. This is an old edition. This is by BJU Press. It is an old edition. This is the edition that was requested on the book list. So we did get the old edition uh, from Amazon. I just picked it up. Um, but we got that. I'm not sure what grade BJU Press tends to do their American literature. I don't think it's in ninth grade, but anyway. Um, we've got Thornton Wilder, Our Town, a play in three acts. We've got Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Chaim Podak, The Chosen. Give Me Liberty, The uncom Uncompromising Statementship of Patrick Henry. And we've got Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. So that is kind of what they'll be doing for literature. And then for history, they're going to be doing this McDougal Little Amer The Americans. I accidentally rented this instead of bought it, but I meant to buy it. So, um, But this is an old uh, like public school type textbook. But this is what they use. Um, and they also use the Patriot's Handbook. Now this is, I haven't even taken the wrap off of it, but um, a citizenship primer for a new generation of Americans. And then they also are going to be using this devotion, My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. And this is dated, so each day they just have a little devotion. So that's everything for the class. Now I have added myself for you, they signed by Masterbooks because I thought this goes along perfectly, so it was a perfect time to use it. And this is something um, we can actually do as a family even. It talks about how you can use it as a family devotion um, somewhere, right here. Okay, so a year's worth of family devotional character studies. So I thought this would be great. 
um, each. So like you see, Massachusetts, and then we have John Adams, Samuel Adams, Elbridge, Jerry, Gary, John Hancock, and Robert Treat Payne. And then it has about John Adams, and he's a dil diligent patriot, and a Bible verse, and all his statistics, and then some information about him. And then his public service. And then questions for discussion. So I thought we would just kind of throw this in there. I just thought it ties so perfectly, so I couldn't resist that. For math, she's going to be using CTC math, and she's also going to be working with a math tutor. And then in addition for some extra practice, she's going to be using this um, Mastering Essential Math Skills book. I do have a review on this. I really, really like this workbook. So I also have a review on CTC math, so I will link both of those. Um, she is still doing spelling. Um, and this daughter is dyslexic, and so she is still doing spelling. Last year she did IEW Phonetic Zoo, and she has not finished it yet, so that's a program where you just kind of go at your own pace, so she's gonna be doing that. Now, she doesn't even use these cards, but this is just basically, I printed out um, blank sp student spelling test sheets, and she just does this every day, and it's the audio files that we got. We didn't get the CDs, so she just has the files on her iPad, does this totally independently, really easy. I have a review on this, I'll link down below. Um, okay, and then these couple things are going to be for the beginning of the year that she's gonna finish up because her class doesn't start until after Labor Day. So uh, she's gonna finish these two things up at the beginning of the year. Um, this is Cat and Dog Theology that she did last year in eighth grade and she's on lesson like 62 or something and there's 90 lessons but it is a um, equivalent to one year of high school credit, so I do want her to finish it so she can get her credit for that. Um, I have a video on this as well. We really like cat and dog theology. If she wasn't already you know, overloaded here, we would continue on to the year two, but we're gonna finish this so she can get the credit for that before her class starts. Um, and then also we have Fix It Grammar book three that she was doing last year and we're on like week 26 and there's 33 weeks. So we have to finish that up as well. Okay, so then the last thing, well, almost the last thing is science. So now my girls wanted to do, my teens wanted to do horse science. So my teenagers just started taking horsemanship. And so to go along with that, they're going to do horse science as their science. So I kind of composed a bunch, or compiled a bunch of different resources here because I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So, um, the first thing I got was the Winter Promise Horse Science. However, it is intended for third through seventh grade. I just printed these out to show you. Um, if I haven't printed out the complete curriculum yet, when I do, if you want to flip through of that, let me know. But the thing, so I bought this because it has this horse notebook with like 400 pages of worksheets or something. Okay, and then it also comes with the actual curriculum guide and it has these weekly science topics. And so I'm, I basically what I'm doing is I'm using this as a starting point and I'm gonna pull the worksheets that I wanna pull. And I got some of the required books, but not all of them. Like there was like a little kid like craft book. I didn't get that. We're, we're doing this for science. So. Um, I, and then I added some other things too. So um, in order to make this a high school class, I couldn't just use the Winter Promise, but it did give me a great jumping off point. And it does come with so much that um, that way I don't have to find every worksheet and, and make up a, a whole you know, curriculum, okay? So this is um, one of the books that winter you use with winter promise and so the complete horse care manual and so this is a book that i thought you was absolutely appropriate for for high school or for you know really any age um the album of horses uh, we actually already have used this book before when she actually did the beautiful feet books history of the horse and this book is used in that as well um this i just got because it's just a really nice book they won't actually probably be using it too much for their science because it's 
I mean, it does talk about horses, but it's just a beautiful book to have. So um, we had a used like paperback copy, and so I purchased this really nice hardback copy just to have because they love horses. Okay, but then I got this um, Usborne Riding School Cross Country book. Now, um, this has a lot of information in it. Let's see. Tons of information in it. So I thought it was just a good book to add on, um, more for their horsemanship rather than their horse science. Um, how to Think Like a Horse. I thought this one was very good. Um, the Essential Handbook for Understanding Why Horses Do What They Do. And this is definitely um, appropriate for high school adults. I mean, anything. So I got this one. Okay. Then, here's kind of where I beef it up. So 4-H actually has a online curriculum that you can access for free. And they have it broken down by grade. So like third through fifth, sixth through eighth, I don't know, something like that, right? And so they do have high school level on there. So we are going to utilize that. And so basically, I haven't completed my plan yet, but basically I'm taking this and then I'm using that 4-H online program and filling in the lessons where they belong on here, okay? In addition, They've got these really awesome horses and horsemanship book and horse science book. They come together as a pack, and I'm, I believe it's like less than 10 bucks, okay? So we've got this horse, and anybody can buy it. You don't have to be part of 4-H. We're not a part of 4-H. My girls would probably love to be, but we're not. Um, that's something I'll probably actually look into. But anyway, um, so we've got these books here. Okay. And then this horse science book. So this is kind of like uh, the, the meat of our program, okay? I mean, it's it's really, really comprehensive, I, I think. Here, I'll show you what it covers. Behavior and nature, functional anatomy and action, unsoundness and blemishes, age determination, inheritance, Principles of reproduction, anatomy and function of the digestive system, feed nutrients, feeds, balancing rations, health and sanitation principles, disease problems, colic, external parasites, and internal parasites. So this is very, very complex. So I think between the online curriculum, this, and then these additional resources we have, and all of the worksheets and things that are in the Winter Promise, it's definitely, definitely gonna work. Okay, so if you want more information about how I schedule this, I'm still working on that, but if you'd like information on that, let me know because I couldn't find what I wanted and so others might be in the same position. Okay, so that is what we got. So the last couple things she's going to do is Spanish on Schoolhouse Teacher. She's actually already started that over summer. So she's taking Spanish 1 with schoolhouseteachers.com. I'll leave a link below to that. And then she's also going to be taking art classes at a brand new art school that just opened up. She is my artist daughter and so she's going to be taking art classes. And then if dance ever opens back up, she will go back into tap and ballet, but right now it is closed. So when they do open up, if they do open up, she will go back to that. So that is our plan for ninth grade. I hope this gave you some ideas. If you have any questions about anything, do let me know and I'll see you in the next one.